Security pass, please, sir. Thank you. I haven't seen you on this run before, Mr. Uh, Holt. My first time. Pass through, please, sir. The pollen's a killer this time of year. Tell me about it. My kid's been wheezing all month. Take the lift to the fifth, Mr Holt. Thank you. Who's he? He's a new guy from the currency printers. Came for the new design disc. Named Simon Holt. They always fax us when they're sending someone new. Well, it cleared security. Call of printers, I want confirmation. Let's do it on three. One, two, three. Where is he? Confirm receipt of master print disc at 13.43 hours. Thank you, gentlemen. Horse well, assistant says he's in Luxembourg all week. So who's this, then? That's a lift frozen. You get ready to bring him down on my command. Beckett. What's this, some kind of aversion therapy? Or are you trying to increase your bank balance by the power of thought? It's the new £100 note. New £100 note? It's supposed to be counterfeit proof. Beckett, you haven't been tempted. No, I haven't. But it appears somebody else has. The print disc master has just been stolen. Hi. Hey, welcome back. Roz. I got your message just after we landed. Jan here yet? In the lift. ETA, 15 seconds. Beckett, a souvenir from Barbados. It's lethal, so don't drink it all at once. Well, thank you. Good trip? Oh, disastrous. Really? Yeah. Our blatting was weak, our bowlers never found line or length. 
Cricket? No, no, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, Channing, did, uh, did he have a good time? Everyone, over here, now. I reckon she's dumped him. You wish. The theft was meticulously planned. His real name is Lewis Drake. He must have had inside knowledge and came prepared for everything. In the confusion, he escaped up the lift shaft to the roof. Do you know anything about Drake's background? Apart from his name, his file was almost empty. You have 24 hours to recover that disc before the new £100 notes are launched. Hasn't the damage been done? I mean, surely Drake's had enough time to run off a fortune. No, the disc was encrypted, so he needs to get it decoded before he's in business. Now, the man who designed the printing software... A guy called Felix North. But there's no point checking him out. He died four weeks ago. Yes. Thank you, Alex. Murdered by Drake, I bet. Thank you, Alex. I'm sure your colleagues will pursue that line. But the disc by itself isn't enough. To print passable currency, Drake needs access to a hollow imager. Alex. Mm. Roz, enlighten us, please. It's a system invented by Rockridge Imaging to make the new banknotes unforgeable. A sequence of tiny holograms is impressed into the paper during the printing process. You mean like the ones on credit cards? Mm-hmm. You remember what they are, don't you, Becky? Thank you, Ed. Well, with the Rockridge system, the holograms on credit cards, they look like cave paintings. It will no doubt make Ethan Rockridge even richer than he already is. Probably. You must get that disc back before the launch. Can't it be postponed? The government has invested its reputation on this new safe paper money. If it fails, there will be severe repercussions both politically and economically. Well, Drake got his information from somewhere. This Felix North, the late software designer, he's the obvious connection. I'll go check him out. You coming, Alex? Well, go on. Or do you want me to get you some filing to do? There's a press conference on the new banknotes in half an hour. Nobody knows about the theft? No, not even the finance minister. Go to the press conference. You'll be briefed on the hollow imager from the horse's mouth. How's the weather in Barbados? Mm, fine. No interruptions to play. And the hotel? Comfy? Oh, amazing. Remind me to show you the snaps later. So what do we know about this Rockridge, anyway? Oh, brilliant academic career. Their massive success in business. Now, scientific advisor to the government, confidant of the prime minister, and almost certainly in line for a peerage. Not to mention very, very rich, eh, Ross? Suppose you billionaires stick together, do you? Beckett, I'm hardly a billionaire. Fear of forgery has prompted moves towards electronic money. Plastic cards with memory chips. Research has shown that people don't like them. Plastic just doesn't smell right. <laughs> well, now we can promise you freedom from the fear of forgery. From tomorrow, counterfeiting is impossible, and this is all because of one man, Ethan Rockridge. Thank you, Minister, for that introduction, but it is this machine which really deserves the praise, my hollow imager. This is the prototype of a unique machine that stands in the Bank of England's printing centre. It imprints on each note a complex holograph, which is easy to check and yet impossible to reproduce. Wow, that is wonderful. Lovely. 
What is it? The Alps? No, don't you get it? Rock Ridge. Rock Ridge. Oh, funny, Beckett. Yes, please. So you're saying that no forger can duplicate this? Well, not unless they have a few million pounds to spend on a hollow imager. And you've just built the one machine? Apart from this non-working prototype, the bank's imager really is the only one of its kind in the world. Next question. Drake didn't steal the design disk for fun. He wants to print money. He must have access to a hollow imager. Yeah, but how? I don't know. Listen, I'm going to go for a look around, all right? Let me see if you can keep your hero talking. Shouldn't be too difficult. And I'm sure you'll agree that the result is quite beautiful. Are there any more questions? Yes, please. You once said that the only way to democratize technology is to make it available to all people. While I agree with the sentiment, I don't remember stating it quite so eloquently. You did in your doctoral thesis. Well, I commend you for getting through it, Miss... Henderson. Ros Henderson. Well, Miss Henderson, if you see this device as democratizing technology, then yes, I am proud. I am very proud to be associated with it. Oh, I apologize for that thesis. It must have sounded so naive. No, it was inspiring. <laughs> Actually, um, you're one of the reasons I got into this. Well, I'm very flattered, Miss Henderson. Henderson. <laughs> Electronics is duty calls. Please. glad I caught you. Mr. Rockridge has been very, very complimentary about your work. I didn't even think he knew who I was, <laughs> let alone ask you to interview me. Well, I'm very lucky, because he's given me free range to talk to whoever I want and go wherever I please. <laughs> Is this where you work? That's where I polish the lenses, but you can't go in there. Uh, free range, Trish, and he wasn't talking about eggs. Well, Mr. Rockridge said so. <laughs> so, you polish the lenses, eh, Trisha? Fascinating. Was it you who polished the lenses on the hollow imager they're using to print the new money? Yes. Wow. Millions. Billions of pounds, all depending just on you. Don't exaggerate. No. I suppose everything since has been a bit of an anticlimax, is it? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you'll never get a chance to do anything like that again, will you? Although, I have to say, the gossip on the news desk is that you people have secretly built dozens of the images. All part of your boss's plans to overtake the world. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> so, what are you working on now, then? I don't think I can talk about that. Oh, come on, Trish. Just a journalistic curiosity. <laughs> All press intrusion. Mr Rockridge is always warning us about you, reporters. George! Is there a problem? Yeah, you. I made polished lenses, but I'm not stupid. There's absolutely no need for violence. George? What's going on here? Someone knows around a restricted area, sir. You really must learn to be a little more gracious toward members of the press, George. I don't think he really is press, sir. He's not on any of our lists. His name's Beckett. Beckett? I've heard that name. Well, escort Mr. Beckett off the premises, please, George. The back entrance. Minister. Oh, 
Oh, I hope you weren't planning on running off so soon, Miss Henderson. Well, Not I... Not many people could have surprised me in the way that you did today. I am always interested to learn more about someone who could do that. Now, it's my turn to be flattered. Flattered enough to have dinner with me this evening? This evening? Oh, now, don't tell me you're busy. I'm an impulsive man. I will not take no for an answer. Really, I can't. You mean you are willing to tell your editor that you turned down the chance of an exclusive interview? That would be difficult. I was beginning to wonder what sort of journalist you really were. I'd love to have dinner with you. The last known abode of Felix North. No wife, no family. Really? What did he die of? Noise pollution? <laughs> no, drowning. Alex, if you're worried about this breaking into thing, I can go in alone. It's not that. It's just that I've never been in a dead person's place before. Right, well, I'll, um, I'll watch out for ghosts. This must be Mr. North. Boom! Don't! <laughs> you spooked? <sighs> Only by you. <laughs> this doesn't much look like the place of a dead man, does it? I mean, check this out. Phone's still working. So is the computer. That's interesting. Someone sent North an email in the last couple of days. OK, clever clogs. Who's the email from, then? Louis Drake, the man who escaped from the bank, he sent the email to North. The disc designer and the guy who stole it are in this together. Drake's address. Should we go? <sighs> That's very good, Alex. Um, Ed, I think you'll find it easier to drive with your hands on the wheel. You know, all work and no play makes Alex a dull girl. Hmm. All smarm and no charm gives Ed a black eye. Instant market researcher. Be careful, Alex. Don't antagonize Drake. Just keep him busy long enough for me to break in round back and find the disc. Decoded yet? Just finishing. Good work for a dead man. A rich dead man. Waited years to make some real money. Whoever it is, get rid of them. Survey on computer use in the home. I wonder if you could spare me a few. Well, actually, minutes? it's not a good time. It will only take a few minutes, please. Um, let's start with an easy one, Mr. North. What's your name? Oops. Ed? Are you all right? has been snooped and spied on, made to feel like a criminal. Minister, I can only apologise unreservedly. But the days of Secret Service cowboys are well past. 
You're all answerable now. Quite so, Minister. Yeah, hang on, Beckett. though. No, this is crisis time. You see, someone's just about to print up enough money to buy London. It's a crisis, all right. It's a crisis that I resent being informed of only half an hour ago. Most regrettable, Minister. So why aren't you arresting the criminals rather than infiltrating Mr Rockridge's offices? Because someone who works for Rockridge must be involved in this scam. Absurd. His entire staff were positively vetted before the bank would proceed with the imager contract. Well, that proves nothing. Mr. Rockridge and his company are models of probity. Someone's having you on. Have this man dismissed. I don't work for you. Instantly. You... If he's still on the payroll next week, I shall see that your own position is reviewed. Of course, Minister. Thank you, sir. Beckett? Is that it? I do wish you'd learn to be a little more diplomatic. I don't mean sycophantic. You don't have to like these people. Just bow and scrape a little. Yes, miss. I'll go and clear my desk, shall I? Beckett, don't be ridiculous. Ignore all that. What? He'll be out at the next reshuffle. Why do you think no one tells him anything? <laughs> do you really think someone at Rockridge made a second imager for Drake to use? Well, I don't think Drake would have bothered to steal the disc, unless he thought he could use it. As you saw, Rockridge has powerful friends. Can we prove a link between him and Drake? Not without knowing more about Drake himself, no. I gave you everything I had. Unusual for official records to be quite so blank. Are you suggesting someone got at the files? Happened. But these are the most secure top-level clearance files. Give me access to them, I'll check them out. If somebody's trying to make Drake look like the Invisible Man, I'll find them. This is technology heaven. Is that...? <laughs> it is the very first laptop computer. <laughs> I knew it was in a private collection. I just always assumed it was the inventors. Well, everybody has their price, including visionaries. Yes, well, nobody seems to have named yours yet. Well, I've always been a little sentimental about my first invention. You've come a long way since these little things. Well, sometimes I'm not quite so sure. Oh, no. You know, I have to confess, you've always been a bit of a hero of mine. Oh, please. No, really. <laughs> really? An inspiration, if you like. An inspiration? Ah, for your work? Yes, for my journalism. Oh. I, I thought you meant your inventions. You are that Ross Henderson, aren't you? I have to tell you, I'm quite a fan of yours. I'd better go. No. Look, I know who you are. I know why you are here. Your colleague, Mr. Beckett, was removed from my premises earlier, so combine business with pleasure. Stay for dinner, please. Keep an eye on me at the same time. <laughs> no, we don't want to disappoint the chef, do we? After all, he might have provided something very exceptional for us. Rosie's what? Ah, uh, she's having dinner with Rockridge. She called and said he'd made her an offer that was quite simply too good to refuse. Oh, maybe they're going to compare the size of their bank statements. Yeah, well, it's crunch time here, mate. We, um, we tracked Drake and North to a printer's synchro scan. Inside. Certainly are, they were expected. Drake's got this one planned down to the very last detail. Yeah, it looks a pretty high-tech place. The sort of outfit that could easily run off a couple of million before breakfast. I'm gonna try and find out more about who we're dealing with. You get inside and stop them printing. You going in? Ed. Keep an eye on Alex. Always a pleasure. I stole the chef from a restaurant in Florence. Ethan, you never struck me as a thief. Oh, we don't have theft in business, only acquisitions. It's a question of grasping opportunities. Like when you convince a bank that putting holograms on credit cards could cut fraud in half. You really do know my story. I heard you speak once at the CBI. Oh, I've learned a few things since those days, a few survival tips. Really? Like what? Mm, legalities, contracts, patents. Patents are the lifeblood of this business. Believe me, if I hadn't got my first patent, 
you would not be sitting there today. You were lucky. No. We make our own luck in this world. And here's to opportunity. And plain old-fashioned luck. <laughs> Okay, Alex, I'm in. I've got one for you. 343GXR. Okay. Registered to a Reg Gibson. Cross-referencing with the secret scan phone directory. We will be in business. All right. Night Manager, extension 42. See you in a minute. I'm here to see Mr. Gibson. You've got an appointment. He called me 20 minutes ago, said one of the hydraulic presses was out of sync. If you're worried, call him and check. I'll do that. Gibson here. Yeah, this is Duncan at the gate. I've got a young woman here who says you wanted to come up and have a look at the press. Right, she's running late. Send her right up. Hey, you sound awful, Mr. Gibson. Do I? Well, yeah, I'm going to sound a lot worse too if you don't get that engineer up here right now. Yeah, sorry, sir. I, look, I didn't mean to snap. It's just... You know, it's like being one of those nights. So the uh, the ink filter just blew. I'm expecting someone else to come and see to that. Matter of fact, they're running an hour late, so as soon as they get here, send them straight through, all right? Whatever you say, sir. <laughs> I love it when they call me sir. Right, Duncan. Mr. Drake and Mr. North will be completing test runs till dawn. Make sure they're not disturbed. OK, Mr. Gibson. Oh, by the way, I let that consultant in, like you said. What consultant? We have to be out of here by dawn. What's the delay? Oh, must the focusing lens is missing. Hollow Imager won't work without it. Mr. Drake! I thought you'd gone. We have a problem. Two intruders. Well, deal with it. You have the authority here. Lock down the entire facility. I want them found. So what about the lens focuser? Start packing what we've printed already and get yourself armed. Now what? Now what? Time to play hide and seek. Come on. 
OK. I've used my clearance to open up the database. The rest is up to you. I do like to see an expert at work. That's why I employ your team, after all. This is fascinating. Well, what security level is this? Cabinet level. Well, I've traced the file on Drake. I was right, the report you were given was tampered with. Hence the lack of detail. Can you recover the original data? Ross's well, software agent can. Unusual background for a would-be forger. The patent office. Now, why would anyone want to wipe that information from his file? This really has been a night to remember, but uh, I ought to be getting back. I'm sorry Beckett jumped to the wrong conclusion. Well, do you think I was planning to print money for myself? <laughs> no. Good. If you're so fond of electronics, then why are you playing these spy games with Beckett's team? They're not games. I like what I do. We make a difference, and I get to design my own stuff. I liked your new miniature video camera very much. And Channing Hardy's doing a good marketing job for you. A few more like that, and you'll be as rich as me. <laughs> Ethan, I don't really get that excited by money. And what does excite you? Technology? Yes. New ideas, solving problems, making things. Well, then. Here's an idea for you. Come and work with me. With my resources and your ideas, just think what we could achieve. I don't know what to say. Well, don't say anything. Yet. Just promise me that you'll think about it. <clears throat> Excuse me for one moment. Um, problem? No, 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 everything's fine. Um, it's something that I have to attend to. Um, have another drink. I'll be back as soon as I can. Got him. When Drake was at the patent office, one of the applications he approved was Rockridge's first hologram design. That Drake must have passed thousands of patents in his time. Yes, including Felix North's applications for software patents. Without these patents, neither North nor Rockridge could ever have got started. You think they bribed Drake to get them passed? Well, I mean, there must be something funny about this patent office connection. Otherwise, why would someone go to all that trouble to lose it? Can you trace who tampered with that file? I think so. Do it. I don't like being lied to. I hope Ros knows who she's eating with. I told you never to come here. You can forget those rules. The hollow emitter isn't working. There's a part missing. Parts don't just go missing. Can I help you? Who's that? Um. Oh. Ethan, I'm disappointed in the company you keep. Right, Rockridge. I want that machine fixed. Ross has nothing to do with this. She does now. Stop it leaving.
Part of the lens system have been removed. It should work perfectly now. Debt repaid. Only when I've made as much money as you. What I've earned, I've earned through my ideas. Your contribution was to rob a stamp. I made you then. I can break you now. Get rid of the woman. Yes? No sign of them in the printing area. Search the rest of the building. Find them. Bricks are going to kill you. I see. Do you always take orders from Drake? Old debts. He secured my first patent. Another company had already applied, but he made sure I got it. Your so-called opportunity. He was going to come clean about the patent fraud, bring me down. Either we were both billionaires, or we would be destitute together. The choice was mine. Ethan. You don't have to go along with Drake. Oh, come on, Ross. You've tasted the good life. Would you ever go back? You can still do the right thing. Look, let me go. Help me stop Drake. That's too late for me. It's never too late. This is an opportunity for you to make things right. Seize it. you were suspended from duty. I made an operational decision to overrule that suggestion. So what's all this nonsense about a security breach? Beckett? Someone's been rewriting history in official databases. Removing records. Someone with the very highest security clearance. A briefing file on an active criminal I was given yesterday was almost completely devoid of detail. And what's this got to do with me? Nowadays, everything's done by computer. And unless operators are very, very clever, they leave little footprints all over cyberspace. The man in the rewritten file is called Drake. The computer which did the rewriting has been traced to this department. To this office. I really don't know what... It's all on disk. We can prove it. I was just doing Ethan a favor. He said it wasn't anything important. I mean, I... Uh, well, I never realized that... Oh. Is that it, then? He gets away with it? Not exactly. Tomorrow there'll be an announcement of an unexpected resignation due to a sudden urge to spend more time with his family. You're quite an operator. So are you. But it's not over yet. you still got to stop Drake and Rockridge. Thanks a lot, bad girl. Don't call me that. The woman? Dealt with. Good. We're nearly done here. You can go. No, I'll wait to pick up the hollow imager when you finish with it. Just covering my tracks, Drake. Always the clever one, weren't you? That's why I've got such a successful business. Stop right there!
No guts, though. I knew you didn't have it in you. Get up there with her. Ready to go. Look, I'll sabotage the truck with this. Oh, I doubt it. I'll secure the doors, that'll stop me out anyway. making you all rich. Well, what did you expect? A percentage? No, oh, he's being paid. Not enough. Who's that? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. You did fine.
did the trick after all, eh? Oh. You got change of a hundred? <laughs> These uh, holiday snaps are a bit dull, aren't they, Roz? You are joking, aren't you? No. Bags, how can you say that? Look, that's the first English wicket, and that was a brilliant catch at first slip. Are they all of the cricket? Yeah. There's none of you or, um, <clears throat> Channing. Some things are uh, best kept private, Beckett. Oh, I don't believe it. It's from Jan. Press release about Rockridge. Check it out. Untimely death. Freak industrial accident. Oh. They're giving him a posthumous knighthood. What a complete cover-up. Oh, yeah. He was only human. He did the right thing in the end. You know, um... <clears throat> It's no good, mate. Even if you glue all that back together again, no bank will take it. Well, a man can dream, can't he? Anyway, I don't need it anymore. My bank can finally agree to give me my credit card back. Hey, dinner on you tonight, then? Ah, oh, afraid not. Spending limits in two figures. Two figures? I think we can do better than that, don't you? Well, what's the point in having all this technology? Here, catch. If you can't use it, to help a friend.